Lynchburg got it done today in ODAC play against Bridgewater. They win 2-1. to one. And I'm joined by Vic Newman and Claire Lloyd, the two goal scorers today. Vic, I'll start with you early in the first half. Just another chance for Lynchburg to get on the board early, and it was nice just looping it over the goalkeeper. Talk a little bit about what went through your head with execution. Um, well, props to Laura. She gave me a perfect ball, and I'm not going to lie, I really didn't know where it was going. I just kind of got my foot on it, and it curled in somehow, but it was a great effort by Laura to get down the field like that. So. Well, we definitely needed it to start off on the right foot, and then Claire in the second half seemed like it just took a couple ticks to get the second goal of the contest. Bridgewater had a corner and came right back and put it in the back of the net. And as a defender, you have four goals in your career. So talk a little bit just what was going through your head. Um, I think we were fired up right after Bridgewater's goal. Like We came together and we really decided that this was our goal. This is our home field. We wanted to get it back. So I'm really proud that it only took us a couple minutes probably, but um, it was a great effort by everyone. We were fighting really hard. Well, we know it was Code Red Day, and it means so much to everyone at Lynchburg just with the amount of fans that come out. And it was against Bridgewater, a team that you all struggled against last year, lost one to nothing. So was there a little something extra in it today? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think? We've got, yeah, we've got a little bit of a rivalry going against them, so it was good to come out at home and have all the support and everything. It was nice. Well, just continuing to win four straight matches, and you all have just finally found the scoring, but it's at a part of ODAC play where it is crucial to keep on going. So how do you all stay level-headed at this point and just continue to keep the momentum? Um, I think taking it one game at a time, like Coach always talks about. So we play Averett on Wednesday, and so that's all we're focused on is Averett on Wednesday right now. We're really focused this year, taking it one at a time. So we're just going to the next one. Awesome. Well, final question. There have been highs and lows already, and then every season there will be a few. But talk a little bit just about your favorite moment so far from the season, whether it was on the field or even off. Just how have you all been able to advance and respond? You go first. <laughs> um, probably not one moment, but I think we've done a really good job this year, like coming back. I think we've had a lot of like adversity with the goals coming on and we're tied or we're down. And I think we've done a really good job this year coming back. So it's really exciting to see the team like get together again, like after they scored down there or after Mary Wash, like coming together and having another goal. I completely agree with that. I mean, we lost three games in a row and I think it was hard to pick all of us up and just move forward but we're doing a really good job and you know when we go down we've found ways to come back and I just think that's like every time it happens like today when you scored I was like oh my gosh thank the Lord. <laughs> well the comeback didn't take long Lynchburg does it again four straight matches they'll be in action again against Averett on Wednesday here from Schellenberger Field they got it done on Code Red Day.